Hello everyone, I'm Leaf Kicker. And I'm the Bean. Thanks for tuning back in. Today we are going to be figuring out how to tie the string back onto our top to box. Um, it's not that hard. I, these do come off uh, pretty often. So you're going to need just a little bit of string and you're going to put that around the, the shaft here of the top. And it doesn't really matter which direction you go, but just pick a direction. We're gonna go towards you and hold that little piece and just keep wrapping tightly the string around. So now you're holding that little piece down and by now you don't even have to hold it anymore. You just keep wrapping all the way down, keeping it nice and snug and tight. I do it. If you have any, any gaps, you wanna push those up. No. <laughs> nice and snug and tight. Oh. You were all over yourself right there. Uh, so let's let's start over. All right. All right. So about an inch. About an inch. Like so. Okay. Just hold that on with your finger. All right. And, just, and then wrap. And you don't want to wrap over your... Um, like this. You're, you don't want to keep just wrapping over the same cord. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Like, you want the cord to kind of screw around in, in the same same line. It's not the right way to say it either. I don't know. Uh, it needs to look nice. Yeah. See, you're not all over yourself right there. Keep wrapping and keeping it tight. If you have any gaps, pull them tight. Dang it. Guys, I'm just not good at this. <laughs> Hold on, I'll get it. Third, Third time's, time's a charm. charm. <laughs> it makes you feel any better. I can't get it. You owe me a Coke. I guess I owe you a Coke. You owe me a truly. <laughs> All right. All right. Keep it pulled tight as you wrap around. Okay. And it helps, like, once you have, like, maybe three yeah, around, set three. it up like I'm at. There you go. You can even just spin the top this way. Ooh. As and hold it with your finger. I suggest that. Make sure that you don't. Yep, you're doing good. You don't want to overlap. I suggest this method. And as you go, keep pushing it up towards the knob. I feel there like you I'm go. Concentrating way too hard yeah. on this. Yeah. It's not that once you once you know how to do it, it just. It's like tying your shoe, you just do it. So you're gonna have maybe five inches after you're done. Hold on. All right, I'm done. And now you just make a little hole that you can stick the bell and those little beads through. And then you're gonna pull it tight. No? No. What are you even doing right now? <laughs> Yes, you're no. So you need to give yourself a little more, a little more than that. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now try. Like That's that? too much. No. <laughs> see, these look like that. These look like this. Okay. All right. Hold on. I got it. Uh, see, you're all over yourself again. <laughs> <laughs> like this. It's not that hard. You know, I think I'm doing it perfect, actually. Well, once you have it like this, where it's over a bead like so, it's oh. kind of snug. So you, you have a, a little bit too much. Then that's okay. That'll work. That's okay. You just push it. Once you have it there, you push it around like so. You just, and it tightens it up. So it's all tied up again. It's not bad for your first try or third. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.